Knowing how to potty train cocker spaniel puppies takes time and patience. Training your cocker pup to potty outside doesn't happen overnight, but it can be done if you do it the right way. Some puppies take longer than others and some cocker pups pick up on potty training right away. Maybe your friend's cocker spaniel puppy learned in a week. Your pup might take weeks to months to be fully 100% trained to pee and poop outside. Before I move on with the video, do you want to train your dog for any basic commands like sit and stay? Do you want to stop any of the behavioral problems of your dog like pooping inside the house, biting, jumping, or barking? If your answer is yes, please grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that would help you have a well-behaved, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him or her. This secret training technique, cheat sheet is available for free only for a limited time from the link in the description box below. When to start to potty train Cocker Spaniel puppies. It's never too early to start training your Cocker Spaniel pup. We're assuming your new Cocker pup joins your family at 9 weeks old. Puppies have a very short attention span, so keep that in mind. A puppy's bladder isn't fully developed until they become an adult. At 4 to 6 months old, the puppy will have full control of his bladder. Since puppies don't have fully developed bladder muscles until that time, be kind, consistent, and patient with him. In the first few weeks that you have your cocker pup, take him out every hour without fail. Every hour on the hour, take your puppy out, whether he needs to potty or not. Always leave your abode from the same exit. When you go outside with the dog, associate the peeing with a command or phrase. Step-by-step -step tips to potty train a cocker spaniel puppy. 1. Your puppy needs to be in your line of vision at all times. You have to see your puppy. Wherever your puppy is, there you are. Give your puppy access to one room. Block everything else off. You need to be in that room. You need to see the puppy in action and anticipate when she is going to pee. 2. Every hour on the hour, your puppy goes outside whether she needs to or not. Always exit from the same door. Puppies love routine. 3. If you live on a second or third floor or in a condo or apartment building, you can use one of the tools below so the puppy can eventually, tell, you she needs to go out. 4. Remember that your puppy won't want to pee or poop in her own territory. If she thinks it's hers, she won't dirty it. You may notice your pup pees in places you can't see or around the perimeter of the carpet or floors. She doesn't realize the house is his territory, yet. That is extremely important, so read that again. 5. Train your puppy what you want her to do, potty outside, which is much easier than yelling at him or repeatedly saying, no, in the house. It's easier to train your pup to do what you want instead of what not to do. Reward the good behavior. Don't punish the bad. Positive reinforcement is key. Keep reading. 6. If your puppy cannot be supervised, he should have access to one area and be blocked off from the rest of the home, apartment or placed in her crate. 7. Slowly increase the amount of space your puppy has access to. She needs to be in your line of vision at all times. Do not allow her access to more rooms until she has mastered not soiling in one room first. 8. Repeat this process for as long as you need to. The more times you can take your cocker puppy out to potty and associate the behavior with a word, the better. 9. Consider taking your 9-week-old to 4-month-old cocker pup outside at least once during the night. Wake her from her crate or sleeping area and carry her out if need be. You want her to empty her bladder and teach her where, when, and how. What to do when potty training accidents happen. When an accident happens, it is usually for one of several reasons. 1. Cocker puppies are excitement peers. A friend calls this, glee pee, as they get so excited to see someone, they pee with joy. Most of the time, a puppy will grow out of this, but here's what to do if it continues after puppyhood, submissive urination tips. 2. Your cocker puppy hasn't emptied her bladder completely. Don't start cheering her on or celebrating until she has completely finished peeing. Puppies don't realize they might have more pee in their bladder. They pee, you praise them, and they come inside and pee in the house. They didn't empty enough. Keep her out there for 10 to 15 minutes during those potty training months. 3. She's been made to hold it for too long. 
Any puppy that isn't being taken out regularly or is in a crate or kennel and holding it for a long time will surely pee inside. 4. Don't hit or spank a puppy. Ever. 5. Fear or anxiety. If you yell at your puppy when she pees in the house after you've found the mess, she has no idea why you are mad. In the puppy's mind, she thinks pee is bad. Pee makes you yell. Don't freak out. Never spank a puppy or rub her nose in it. 6. You are not consistent. Inconsistency leads to accidents and a longer time frame to potty train. 7. She has a physical problem. A bladder infection? Kidney stones? Something else? Don't hesitate to call your veterinarian. 8. She has too much room to roam. Refer to potty training step number 4 above. Puppies should not be given more room to roam until they've not soiled in their current area. 9. She is confused. She has no idea what you want from her. Start from step on in the potty training tips above. 10. You gave her access to water late at night before bed. Some people remove their puppy's access to water before bed. We've never had an issue with this, but it works for some people. How not to potty train a cocker spaniel puppy? 1. Do not give your puppy access to your full residence and doors when unsupervised. 2. Do not ever under any circumstances, rub your puppy's nose, in pee or poop. This is horrific, hateful behavior, and your dog will get sick and start to fear you and or fear peeing or pooping in general. It is also abuse. 3. Don't let other dogs visit your residence indoors until your puppy is fully potty trained. 4. Don't expect your dog to be perfect. He's going to have accidents indoors. He isn't being spiteful. He isn't dumb. He is a puppy. Keep a high-quality, enzymatic, pet-safe carpet and odor remover on hand. 5. Do not think cockers are emotionally tough. Cockers are one of the more sensitive breeds and do not respond well to harsh yelling or punishment. 6. Do not ignore an adult cocker who suddenly starts peeing in the house. Bookmark our post on how to potty train an adult dog. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel, Little Paws Training, if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.